if you hurry and you go right now, you too can capitalize on one of my favorite Target deals. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I am back to share with you a $175 Target pickup order. Now this order started and was provoked by my Walmart haul that I did earlier in the week and it was pretty much a haul based on our trip coming up this weekend. We're going to the lake with a couple of friends and there was quite a few things that we all needed in prep for this weekend. So I was hoping to get everything at Walmart but but with no success so I figured what I couldn't get there I would just get at Target so I signed on to the app and started filling my cart with all the things that I couldn't get at Walmart and while surfing the app I noticed that they had one of my favorite deals going on and that is spend $50 on household essentials like garbage bags and laundry detergent and then you get a $15 digital gift card back which I always think is amazing because sometimes Target can be a little pricier than say your Walmart or buying in bulk like Sam's or Costco but if you use your red card and that saves you 5% that already kind of cuts into that markup and then you get a $15 gift card back. So if you factor that into the price that you paid for those items, it is definitely cheaper to do one of these deals when you can capitalize on it. And it's still going on until July the 10th. So I think when you guys are seeing this, you'll still have two full days to check it out on your app if you want to do that deal. They had like I mean, it was just on and on and on your choices of what fit into this category. So I'm pretty sure that you can find something that suits you that you can use this deal on. Plus, I still had a $20 gift card from the last time that they had the pull-up deal, which was spend 100 and get 20. I love when they do those little incentives because I'm going to go there and spend the money anyway. So I love having those gift cards. I even got to use that 20 towards today's purchase. So I'm going to bring you down to the counter and I will share with you what I got this time at Target's pickup. All right, you guys, so here is a quick overview of what I spent $172 on in Target's pickup, but we did, like I said, go inside, and we also had $20 off, and we earned the 15 back, so still not exactly what we physically paid, but that is still $172 worth of items from Target, and then that, of course, is Mr. Oliver always keeping me company as always. So we'll start here first with the chairs for the kids in the front. These are $15 right now and they've been $15 all season. And my store says that they still have a ton in stock and they have other designs as well. But I think $15 for these are so super cute. They have two little mesh cup holders on each arm and they do come with like a matching bag to put it in and it folds up super easy this one's got a rainbow on it so they called it like the unicorn one so I thought Maya would like that and then this one is a shark which Mason loves sharks and dinosaurs and all of that and of course it has an ice cream cone so if that doesn't speak to Mason all it needs is an apple on that and then that would be pretty much made for him and he has his bag that's hanging over there so, so I thought those would be cute to just bring to the lake and then when we're not at the lake the kids can use them here and then speaking of the lake these are some of the things that I picked up for Mason I also have one pair of pants that are on its way that they did not have but they said they would deliver it to me for free so I decided to just go with it but I want him to have pants in case it was buggy at night when we're doing s'mores and stuff or sometimes it's just a little cooler at night especially if there's a breeze on the water so I got these ones for him I ordered these in a black and a charcoal gray the charcoal gray is one of the ones that it that they didn't have in the pickup so that's the one that's coming to me for delivery and then this was the one that was for the pickup and this one says oh whoa they gave me a 1214 oh because I chose a large that's right so Mason is probably going to end up being a medium I'm gonna probably have to end up returning these he's a large and a t-shirt but a t-shirt's not a 12 to 14 I don't know I'm so confused with ordering clothes for my boy right now because it's been a long time since I've had to take him out to go get 
clothes. I mean, I just pretty much got him a few items last year because we were doing school at home. But it's been a while since I've had to go and buy him clothes and he's kind of in between sizes now. So I got this and then I started to panic saying, well, what if it's too long for him and it doesn't fit? And the bathing suit that we got from Walmart it fits him it's just a tiny bit big even when i pull the string so it'd be fine for swimming in the pool but if you're gonna be you know sliding down slides in the lake or jumping off of things i feel like he needs a little bit more of a tighter bathing suit so when we went to do the pickup order we just ran in to see what we can find him and so i did find him this pikachu um a bathing suit and this was in a medium so this is more of a 810 not a 10 12 or a 12 14 where he's definitely not close to that size and he's all about his pokemon and his pikachu so i think this one's gonna fit him better than the one that we have but of course it's bigger not smaller so he'll grow into it i just don't want him leaping off of things and then losing his draws which is what i was afraid of so i think that will be better for him and then we also found a pair of these they're not as warm as joggers because these are more like the slippery kind not like sweatpants but this was also in is this a medium or a 10 hold on let me see yeah the see it says medium and it says 8 10 but some of the clothes like i ordered from walmart a medium is an 8 and then a large is a 10 12 which is more mason than the eight so it's confusing to try and order clothes for mason right now so i got these and then when the gray ones come in the mail i'll have to take them inside and return it and then mason gave me money of his own so 15 dollars of what i quoted was not my money it was mason's he wanted a gift card to load into his ipad so that he can use it for the car ride and get like some games and stuff that he can play in the car and then i did get some blow pops they had a sale on these and i thought these would be really good for when we're riding on the plane because as long as you are eating something like a lollipop or candy or something you don't have to have your mask on and it's just going to be me and my family in the row in the airplane anyway so i'm not going to be in anybody else's space so i got the blow pops because i thought if we ever needed a mask break this would be something that would take a little bit of time to eat so i grabbed those for that and then the last thing that i got that wasn't part of that you know spend 50 get 15 was this this is what maya gave me her money for so another 15 dollars of this was her money but she had money from her birthday that she wanted to spend and her godmother sent her this really cute like mini kitchen and she wanted a little bit more food for it so this has like a burger and chocolate look at the cute little bow tie pasta i can't and then the corn on the cob which she loves and french fries the orange juice and milk i just think that's so cute so she She's been dying for me to film so that I can give this to her. So she's going to be super excited about that. And then this is pretty much it for the things that didn't include that deal. But if you guys go on the website, I think it said there was something like 836 participating items. Like it took me a while to get through everything that was participating in this deal so if you need household products i would jump all over this because i did get my persil of course the purple label intense fresh deep clean it's the best smelling detergent we still probably have like this much and down from the one that we're using but obviously detergent is never going to go to waste and it was part of this deal so i picked it up and now we have a backup I did get the Off Deep Woods. It's the insect, insect repellent, long lasting protection against mosquitoes, ticks, biting flies, gnats, chiggers, all of that. And we're going to be in the woods at the lake, so I figured that would be perfect. I did get some more of the Vibreeze in the Gain Scent, these small spaces. I use this in my little like shoe compartment because we converted our window seat into shoe storage. But eventually it's going to get stinky like shoes. So we've just been putting one of these in there at a time to keep it from it not smelling like that. And then if you guys know me, I love my method products, but when I get most of my method products from Grove and Grove has tons of scents, but they don't have all of them. And sometimes Target just has scents that I don't see. Last time I got some kind of nectarine dryer sheet it's the best dryer sheet i've ever used i'll never go back to using another one so i'll never get dryer sheets from grove now unless they get 
that scent. And this is their all-purpose cleaner, but it's in Honeycrisp Apple, which is seriously, the apples are my favorite scents. The, I use the apple scent in the um, cleaner for the granite, so I know I'm gonna love that, and I've never used it before. So pick that up for that. Just got some of the Reynolds Kitchen cook liners for the crock pot. We're running down to just a few. The big box that I got from Sam, so being that this was included, it's only six liners, but I'll just add it to what we have and we'll be good for a little while. And then speaking of scents that I don't normally see, this is the Scrubbing Bubbles, the Fresh Gel. You put these in your toilet for when you flush and every single time you flush, it just kind of refreshes the air and it smells so, so good, but I've never seen the citrus scent and I love to try new scents so I grabbed that and then you guys speaking of new scents these are Clorox bleach wipes but they had grapefruit scent and then they had coconut if you guys know me I love coconut so I almost bought the coconut one but I feel like Clorox wipes are very potent in cleanser you can smell the bleach so I felt like coconut was such a soft smell the bleach would override the coconut but grapefruit is like disinfecting smell to me like that citrusy i feel like that will override the bleach a little bit so i actually went with this one over the coconut but usually i get like the combo packs from costco and stuff and they have natural and lemon so i never get the fun ones so i saw that and i grabbed that while i could i was almost out of parchment paper and this is the one that i love grove has this one too but they've been out of stock so i just threw it in since it was part of the steel it's the if you care parchment baking paper and i grabbed that because like i said i'm almost out and then lastly i got the scott's toilet paper Again, if you guys know me, I'm ride or die for Scott's. I love all of my Scott's products. And normally I get the big 36 pack from like Costco or something like that, but I'm going away for three weeks. So the 18 pack will be more than enough for just Paul when he's here for a couple of weeks and then Paul and Daryl, and then we'll still have some to come back to until I can get back to my regular scheduled programming. But all right, you guys, that was it for my super mini Target haul for $172, which is actually not so many. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys are excited about lake footage, I am gonna vlog there, so stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna do a whole, whole lot of vlogging, just because I wanna put the camera down for a little while and spend some time with my friends, but I do really love the memory. So I will be capturing some of it and sharing that with you guys, so stay tuned for that. If you do wanna capitalize on this deal, hurry up and go. You got two days to go and grab yourself a gift card for buying household essentials you know you're going to need anyways and that is it you guys so thanks so much for watching subscribe if you are new i love you guys all so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys